south of New Liskard, where I'm from, all the way down to the furthest south I've ever camped before is Martin River. I've never camped south of here. So we're gonna try out Tucker in this new canoe and not in any hurry this trip, just a few days. On a little back lake, might hit a second lake. Well, we're hoping to hit a second lake. I'm not uh, real thrilled that I heard uh, on the radio and my weather app just informed me that there's a severe thunderstorm watch in effect right now. So hopefully that doesn't hit before we get to a campsite. All right, well, we made it to the access point. Where Tucker disappeared, you know, swimming already probably. I'm gonna go up the lake, find the campsite. Yeah, ways up there. But first, we gotta walk this trail. Because I was here a couple of days ago scouting out the area. And Tucker lost his harness somewhere in this trail. I noticed he had it on when he got out last time. But then when we got back in the truck, he didn't have it. And I was all the way to Liskard before I realized he lost it in the trail here. After reviewing pictures. Well, taking a dump in the woods. Good spot. So we're going to look for it in this trail real quick before we launch a boat. I think it's at the end. I know he snagged a tree. So we'll hopefully find it. If not, he's got a new one on now. So But we'll try and find it. Uh. Not much of a trail. So this is the end of the trail. Looks like we're gonna be paddling up there. And we had a fight, there it is. I saw him having a fight with this tree. I remember that, and here it is. Yeah, it's all tangled up, Tuck. There we got her. I just mostly wanted his uh Vet tag back. That's all I was concerned about. Now <laughs> well, we got her. You ready, Tuck? Let's go. I'm gonna go launch that canoe. Get paddling up the lake. Hey Tuck, what do you think of this boat? First time he's been in this one. So we'll see. So far Tucker's handling it pretty good. Dripping wet. Being in the water, and now he's getting his blanket all wet. Well, it's your blanket that you sleep on, not mine. Although tomorrow night it's supposed to dip down to about six degrees Celsius, which is hard to believe because it's so hot right now. It almost feels like a thunderstorm kicking up. Really calm, humid. I hope not. Maybe a few kilometers down the lake here. Hey, don't fall in. To find the first campsite. Relax, would you? 
I know, it's not quite as big as the other boat. You can do laps in it. Kind of a late start. I would have liked to leave this morning. But I got busy doing this and that and everything else around the house. Wasn't quite ready to leave. So it's already a three o'clock start. So I'm hoping by supper time we get to the campsite anyway. The first one. Tuck. I'm quite happy, eh? King Tuck. King of the world. Taking up the whole camera shot though. <laughs> okay. Looks like we're not the only ones out here. <laughs> Said hello to a couple other canoers that were back there. Well, they were kayakers actually. First guy was fishing, and was assuming his wife or significant other was behind him in the other kayak. I threw my line out for a little bit, but I got the wrong lure on there and I don't feel like changing it right now. So we get down the lake, that wind's picking up a little bit, but it's nice, it's a tailwind. Don't mind at all. I'm just tempted to go right down to the end. Let's get one of the end campsites. It's about four. One, two, three, four. Four or five campsites on this lake. There's only a couple up on this end. And then the rest are at the other end. What are you doing? <laughs> Hi to all your fans. I think you got more fans. It's quite well known when we're trucking down the highway. Okay. Tucker the trucker. Comes with me every trip. I would be opposing there now, you're all happy. <laughs> down, take a nap. I should have left that uh, loose instead of stuffing it in a bag. At least with it all stuffed in the bag, it won't be completely wet. Just the one spot that you're lying on will be. And it'll be dry for tonight. I'm going to go up this shoreline over here, because that's where the campsite is. We'll check it out. Now somebody's already there. A few vehicles in the parking lot, so... They have camps up here. First time I've ever been on this lake. This is the reason I bought this canoe so I can explore a lot more lakes. My other canoe is a 
really heavy fiberglass square back. And the reason I put a trolling loader on the back of it is because it weighs 100 pounds. No kidding. <laughs> well over 90 anyway but I looked up the dry weight of it and it said it was listed at a hundred pounds so to go from a hundred pound canoe to a 37 pound canoe makes a hell of a difference I'll tell you that now I just gotta work on getting lighter gear my bag weighs probably 70 pounds a lot more than I want But when you spend most of your money on the canoe, <laughs> you just camp with what you got. You run what you brung, as the saying is. Oh, that sun's hot when it comes out. Twenty-four Celsius when I got out of the truck with a thirty degree Celsius humidex. So I'm just hoping no storms hold off. It was looking real nasty when I left New Liskers. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> and the, both the radio and the phone alerted me of a severe thunderstorm watch. But if it starts thundering and lightning, then we'll have to make do with wherever we're at. <laughs> I hope we're at a campsite. This is all crown land here, so you can technically make a campsite wherever you need to, but it's so thick. You spend an hour just clearing brush. Uh, <laughs> I just pulled in here. Now this used to be a campsite. <laughs> As you see, there's even remnants of beer cans. Completely overgrown. So this used to be a campsite. But as you see, it's as tall as I am. I don't even think I could... Getting late in the day though, I'm almost tempted to just knock down a bunch of this brush. And it's a pretty big site, it's just really overgrown. Is that your dog? What do you think? What? <laughs> that right down there at your level, eh? It's like a jungle. Problem is, it could be a bear hanging out in this. We wouldn't even know. But I can clear out just a little spot, make it livable. Or we can keep going down the lake. It's another couple of kilometers. The next one, four o'clock though. Yeah. Maybe we will. This one's going to be too much work to make it work. We'll just keep going. Hopefully find something before dark. So this actually looks like a campsite. But it's not even on the map. It's marked as a campsite. Unless I got my islands all messed up. But I don't know. Maybe it's not. It just looked promising from across the lake. Promising duck. We're gonna see. If not, there's something across on the other point there, too. Is 
definitely a small little island. Definitely looks like a campsite. <laughs> All built up. I'm going to dig up my uh, rope wherever I put it. Tie up the canoe and take a look around. Let's take a walk around here. Hold the canoe right up. How pretty that looks, eh? <sighs> yeah, fire pit right here. That's good. I don't like how people leave garbage. Oh, there's another even better fire pit right there I like. Got it on the point. I prefer that. Oh, beautiful views. <laughs> Even frying pans left. Roast your hot dogs and everything with. <laughs> Not sure where I'll put the tent. Maybe right over in here. Nice big flat spot there. Well, pretty flat. Probably going to be the flattest spot here. Looks like we got Thunderbox back here. So the map I was reading shows that the campsites are further up. This one wasn't even marked on the map anyway. Thunderbox. It's definitely an island. I paddled all the way around it. Another Thunderbox made out of a... Kind of like that idea. So they put a hole in the ground. Of an old chair. Oh, is this the third one? In case everybody's got the runs or something. That one's even got toilet paper left. Who would leave the toilet paper? Oh, look at the views. Because there's another site over there. But somebody might be at it. I'm not sure. As I went by there, there's a tarp blowing in the wind. So I'm not sure if anyone's over there or not. But the tarp that I saw was all shredded and completely destroyed so I'm guessing they just left it but I'm assuming there's another campsite over there so either I was reading the map wrong or I'm a lot further down the lake than I thought that's all right being the island site I'm not too worried about Tucker wandering off and chasing bears and whatnot He's done that before to me. He actually chased a bear up a tree once. So, so we should be okay. I know bears swim. They will come across. But we'll try and keep the food over here on this end. Maybe by the thunder boxes. At least in the tent. Yeah, I guess we'll set up. By the time we set up camp and get some supper on the go. And figure out on the map where I'm at. <laughs> ah, ah. Alright. I just flipped the canoe over because it looks like I might have got set up just in time. Got the tent all set up. And uh, these clouds are looking pretty threatening. So, not sure if we're going to light that fire yet and try and cook up some supper. I'm not real hungry yet. All the fishing gear. I brought way too much stuff, like always. All set up. Home sweet home. Tucker's bed, my bed. Clothes pile. I had packed the bag wrong. So I just said dump it all. <laughs>
Yeah. Looks like the weather's cleared, but we might get some more rain in behind. A little shower went over us, but we may have time to supper. I know. through. Sent a message to my sister saying camp is set up for the night. All is good. It says it went through. That's what I like about Garmin inReach. It tells you when it goes through and when it doesn't. I'm hearing voices. And yeah. There's another site over there and there's a boat at it. So I got neighbors. Cool. That's cool. <sighs> Not alone on the lake. Oh, uh, we're alone on this island for now, anyway. The sky down there. They might bypass us, though. They only say in showers. Thing is, there's no dry firewood. There's only a little bit just down over here. I saw a couple of little branches, but they'd be burnt in no time. We have to go over there into the mainland or the bigger island, find some dry stuff, bring it over. Quit drinking the lake dry. <laughs> Maybe that's what we'll do. As I'm on the search for firewood, we found another campsite. Just up the bay from where I am. I don't know, Tuck. We'll go up and take a look around. But I'm guessing there's not much here either. There you go. Got a fire going. Gonna boil some water on it and Fill up one of these fancy meals. Uh, you just had water. I don't know, I've never had one of these before. Anyone know if they're any good? All these company. Pasta Alfredo with chicken. Sounds good. Just add a couple of cups of water and let it sit. So I'll put the water on in a second here. Just loving that sunset. going here just about boiling I haven't burnt that wooden handle yet but it's getting close <laughs> oh look at that sunset though so nice huh <sighs> Slowly cutting some firewood here. I didn't get a whole lot when I went for that little canoe journey. I know this is a bunch over over in here. And I'm like, oh, look at all those dead standing. I should have just went right across, but I went way up the lake here. Well, way back the lake. <laughs> Same way I came. Sorry, I didn't. Record me pouring the water in. Well, it's 8.13. We wait. 15 minutes. 12 to 15 minutes, it says. It should rehydrate. Yeah.
Look at the view. Just breathtaking. And my cheap old chair. Made by a nice C. <laughs> I couldn't afford one of those fancier chairs, but it's the same design, kind of. But uh, for like 30 bucks, I couldn't go wrong. I think it was 30 bucks. Sit and watch fire, watch the sky. Life is good. Disappointing I didn't get out fishing, but maybe tomorrow. Oh, been 15 minutes. Let's check our dinner. That's interesting. I think I did a little too much water in it. Kind of guest on the two cups. I thought it looked a little too full for two cups. Oh well. Give you a look. There's what she looks like. Pretty soupy. Big chunks of chicken though. Should be good. You kicking around over here. Hmm, did you kill him? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a toad. You killed him. Well, that wasn't very nice of you. I saw him beating something up. I was wondering what it was. It's a toad. Yeah, frog legs. Coming out, duck. This time of night. This is actually pretty good. A little soupy, a little too much water. That's pretty good. Quite tasty. I'd buy it again. Oh, life is good. I'm waiting all summer for this. Beautiful oh. sunset. Sitting watching a fire and the sunset. And that cloud over there just let a big flash of lightning out of it. A little bit of thunder way off in the distance, but I'm just wondering if this ridge line behind it, this thunderstorm is moving in. Well, got the tent all set up. It's waterproof, so it was last year anyway. We'll see. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Missed it on camera. that sheet lightning or whatever the heat lightning sheet lightning whatever you want to call it there it is 
Got that one. Woohoo! That's cool. Talker, you're gonna end up getting sick tonight. You just ate that toad. Like, all of it. You spitting up slime. Don't be puking on me. There you get off. Go puke somewhere else. No? Not digesting right. <laughs> Still eating it. Alright, you better not throw up in the tent. Now life is good. <laughs> nice stiff drink, nice fire. Put that big log in, it's burning nice. Drink around the fire, then we'll call it a night. Good night, everybody.